Hi, I'm Ali Reza Ahmadi and I will talk about our recent paper Virtual Temporal Samples for Recurrent Neural Networks Applied to Semantic Segmentation in Agriculture. As an overview, I will present you the motivation of our research. Then I explain you proposed approach including use dataset, a temporal virtual sample generation technique, and a lightweight RNN architecture and I will continue with presenting the outlines and some visual results and wrap up the presentation with a summary. We at the University of Bonn have two agricultural robotic platforms. One is specialized for horticultural sites working in glasshouse environment and the other one for arable farms. Both platforms carry cameras and provide us images of relatively static environment and the motion information of the platform itself. Here you can see camera views of both robotic platforms working in different environments. The scenes are almost static and as the robot moves through the crop rows it captures the plants and fruits. Within its motion in the camera view, crop or fruits get often occluded or deocluded and there are rapid illumination variation also involved. Hence, this encouraged us to use temporal information of video sequences to improve the perception results of our system. But the scarcity of agricultural datasets is a major problem and actually there is no fully annotated dataset available for training special temporal models or RNNs. To alleviate this problem, first we propose to generate virtual temporal samples from single annotated images. This avoids the need for laborious work of fully annotation of video streams. Second, for cooperating special temporal information, we suggest a lightweight RNN architecture with a special temporal module. But the most important factor is that we are looking for a system which regardless of the environment, it can improve the accuracy of semantic segmentation predictions. To train our networks, we use two datasets collected by two robotic platforms introduced earlier. The BOP20 dataset capturing sweet peppers in glasshouse environment with a lateral motion for camera and SP20 dataset recorded in arable sugar beet field with a nadir view of the ground and a top to bottom frame to frame motion. To generate a fully annotated virtual samples from existing datasets, we propose to use a sequencing template of a motion comprising from consecutive shifts and crops. Using virtual sequencing technique, for each single image and its annotations, we generate a sequence of n virtual frames based on specific motion parameters extracted from real datasets and the robotic platform motion information. We introduce a lightweight RNN architecture derived from unit baseline, and we augment its architecture with a special temporal module to incorporate temporal information and several intervention points within each layer shown in blue and red arrows. Each intervention point can be used for sampling or integrating feature maps enabling us to investigate different configurations for the feedback layer. And the special temporal module not only used to follow back the temporal information in the network but also handles the resolution discrepancy between the sampling and host layers of the network. We also investigated the benefits of using learned feature map downsizing like convolutional layers over a not learned function same as bilinear interpolation. We present the results for our system on two mentioned datasets. In this presentation we present results for three systems. Our virtual sampling technique provides five images from one still image. So we use the same data to train a data augmented unit baseline denoted as a still virtual. This helps to improve the baseline performance, but we attribute this to data augmentation effect. Also, we use single annotated image to train an RNN denoted by temporal Rio which has a sequence of five RGB images and only the last image in the sequence has annotation. In other temporal case, we use virtual frames which all images within a sequence have annotations to train an RNN. 
which is denoted by temporal virtual. In this table, we present the results of several systems trained on virtual and real sequences. The benefits of temporal virtual is clearly visible when comparing to still virtual variant with an absolute performance of 3.2 and 2.5 on both datasets BUP20 and SP20 respectively. Furthermore, the temporal virtual system has a performance improvement of 3.7 on BOP20 and 2.7 on SP20 when compared to the real temporal system. We attribute this increase in performance to the impact of using all images when calculating the loss compared to the only final image to be used. These results outline the benefit of the contextual information supplied from the temporal sequences for improved semantic segmentation, allowing for temporal error reduction in pixel-wise classification. Also here we can take a look at the differences in performance between still and temporal systems, both trained using virtual samples generated from SP20 dataset. In these videos, the red color represents the weeds and crops are colored in green. It can be seen that the still virtual system is misdetecting most of the small vegetations, while the temporal model is robustly detecting weeds with fewer misdetections. As a summary, here we propose a method for generating virtual temporal sequences from a single annotated image, creating a special temporal information for training an RNN model. We explore different methods to perceive a special temporal information in an RNN unit structure and show that a convolutional based module outperforms feature map downsizing to bilinear interpolation. And finally, our proposed lightweight RNN architecture, along with our novel data augmentation technique, is able to improve semantic segmentation performance on different datasets regardless of the distribution of objects in the scene and considerably different natures of the scene. Thank you for your attention.